Meanwhile, Warren Township has also been hit hard by flooding. A lot of people woke up to water in their front yards or even their basements. Yeah, difficult situations there. 27 First News reporter Tyler Trill was checking out the high water levels today. Road close signs and high water levels right behind me. It's a common occurrence across Warren Township. Right behind me is Hewitt Gifford and Layer Road. This was just one of the many places in the township that dealt with this. High water signs were posted on two parts of Templeton Road in Warren Township Monday, warning drivers what they were about to drive through. I heard some heavy rain at, at times last night. Bill Hill lives on Templeton. He woke up to most of his front yard covered in water. However, Hill says the road normally doesn't get this much flooding after a heavy rain. Are you surprised to see this much water on your street right now? Yes, I am. I, definitely so. I mean, this um, this big ditch should have been able to cut to carry all that water. Hill wasn't the only one affected by the flooding. Many of his nearby neighbors were lucky if they were able to see their yards or driveways late Monday morning. Last night, the wife said, uh, I think we're going to flood tonight, and I didn't believe it, you know. Eric and, Vassbinder uh, lives on Hewitt Gifford Road in Warren Township. Water surrounded his neighbor's entire house, while Vassbinder says he wouldn't be using the driveway in his front yard today. Will you be getting the mail today? Uh, no, I don't <laughs> think so. The mailbox is right down there at the end of the drive, and it's under about two feet of water, so I'm not going to attempt. And if the flooding wasn't bad enough, both those gentlemen dealt with no electricity when I was talking to them earlier because of the ruptured generator at that power plant. Um, also, I reached out to the Warren Township uh, Street Department, but never heard back. Live in Warren Township tonight, I'm Tyler Trill, 27 First News at 6.